guys, it's Jolene and I'm hanging out at the Chevron on 84th Street. Not where you typically see me hang out, but there's only one good reason why I would do that and I'm going to tell you why. Alright, I am probably the only girl you know, well maybe not, maybe you know other ones, but I'm probably the only weirdo you know that hangs out at Chevron to pick up a turtle. So we have a turtle that we rescued a while ago on a highway. I'm gonna give you a view of that highway and now we get the chance to return him back to our pond. So I'm gonna show you our turtle, Diego, and a little bit about him and then show you his release. All right, so we found Diego originally trying to cross the highway from way back there over the center and trying to get across the other two lanes. So he was originally trying to cross four lanes of the highway and he got hit um, on one of the lanes. He he'd actually made it past two and got hit on another two. So he had head injury. It actually didn't look very good. Head injuries are not great for turtles, but he actually did make it. And we, have, we are actually relocating him back to our pond, which is a much safer spot for him. So this is the best kind of parcel I can get. This is Diego. He's hidden in this little box. All right, this is little Diego. He's all hidden in his shell. This is his last, hopefully last journey in a box. We're gonna take him home. All right, we're home with Mr. Diego and we're walking him down to the pond on our way from picking him up. We stopped for another turtle. This one was not injured, so we just got to move him across the road. And uh, he was left alone, so he's fine. But Diego is now healed and going back to our pond. Now I should make a mention that he is healed because of the great work that Central Mississippi Turtle Rescue does. So huge shout out to them as always. They're amazing folks. I'm going to put in the description down below a link to them. If you ever have some spare bucks that you can donate, it would help them a great deal. They are working on a project to get a new house so that they can store more turtles. So we are just reaching the spot. We're going to show you the release. Okay, so this is our pond that is actually super full because we've had a lot of rain recently. Back, you can't quite see it, but way back there, well, we're going to zoom in. There we go. Way back there, there is a turtle log and that's where all the turtles hang out so he will get to join probably you know I think we have about 10 turtles in this pond maybe more so this is a very miffed Diego and this is where he was injured you can see his first crack goes on the top and then he was also cracked on the bottom which is usually really bad when they get cracked on the top of on the top and the bottom according to Central Mississippi Turtle Rescue but he healed and he's been a feisty little turtle in the boxes on both travel rides from here and to the rescue place and back. So, all right, let's go ahead and put him down on the ground. Now, when you are re releasing a turtle, you don't wanna release them in the water. You just wanna release them close to the water. And technically you wouldn't normally take a turtle from one location and relocate it to another location. Uh, you wanna keep them in the exact, usually in the same area that they were found. In this case, it was okay because the place that he was found was actually um, not going to be safe to return him. So we got permission to relocate him here. And some states have like pretty strict rules um, for um, animals that they have to be released. Um, and it's actually like against the law to take a turtle from its natural destination. Well, off he goes. Be free, little one. Stay safe, Diego. Well, I'm happy to see him get returned to a safe spot. I've seen far too many this year, unfortunately, that were already gone on the road or injured and not savable. So it wasn't a great year for turtle rescues. We've probably moved about 10 across the road and found probably, I don't know, five or six more that were toast, unfortunately. 
Diego was lucky and we are super happy and super grateful to Central Mississippi Turtle Rescue as always. Please consider giving to them. And that's it, you guys. That's our awesome nature-friendly thing for today. Be friendly. Be kind.